There's some folks just watching TV. All right, let's let's see if we can get any more any of my other pieces chopped off. Such a Dr. Sarah, way to put it. Dr. Sarah Castle. Just one glance is all you need to tell you that the good doctor is exhausted. Her crumpled scrubs are stained with a mix of blood and other fluids too colorful to be naturally occurring in the human body. Her eyes are those of a person who has built up a substantial sleep debt and has no idea when or how to begin paying it off. I'm not one to talk, but you look like Drek. Afraid there isn't much I can do for that. Doc Castle snaps her fingers and calls forth the spirit normally seen perched on her shoulder. It appears from out of the ether, and the doctor immediately seems less fatigued than she was a moment before. Everything all right here, Doc? You're at the Union? Yes, fine. I'm just getting back myself. Days here tend to be slow, so I volunteer at a medical center on the other side of Touristville. And I had a rough shift. What happened? What always happens? Some run or other, some run or some deal or some meat went south. One thing led to another, etc., etc. I didn't hear all the details. All I really know is that what came in on the lips of the victim is healthy enough to still speak. Apparently, one of the Baron's gangs incurred the wrath of the local... Solpa ring, rings, leading to a rolling shootout through the city streets. Several bystanders were injured. But the real mess didn't begin until the party crashed into the yard of an old industrial plant out on Union Hill Road. Out <coughs> on Union Hill Road. They woke, some sort of some, they woke some sort of toxic spirit, which then began running to run amok, causing easily as much damage as the initial battle. <coughs> Okay. Oh, by, by the way, for reference, the uh, Solpa Rings, they're a, uh, they're a group of uh, 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 Korean organized crime syndicates in Shadowrun Universe. Okay. Um. Okay. So, yeah, so it's like, yeah, so this is a gang war, basically. They woke some sort of toxic spirit, who then began running amok, causing easily as much damage as the initial battle. And we were left to pick up the pieces, of course. But enough about my troubles. Let's hear about yours. Tell me what ails you. I'd like to look at your cyberware. I have too many of my own limbs. <laughs> and it's, ho it's holding me back! S technology, cyber leg. Okay. It's most of the same stuff before. I... I should see if I can sell some old stuff. Because I'm going to go, I'm going out on, you know, into danger. And, I, if, if, and if I'm going to be doing that, I'm going to need to be able, I'm, I need to be able to hire a runner or two. You give them their payment up front, right? So you get to keep all yes. the loot and stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're paid up front. Okay. okay. I can get 562 for this, uh... Well, okay. I'm not selling. I'm not selling Johnny Five. It's <laughs> a good call. Sell that nitro because winners don't use drugs. So I could get a lot of money for him. No. All right. Let's now back. Now, back to removing pieces of myself. Let's see. Vision, vision magnification. Plus three to hit. Wired reflexes with reflex trigger. Movement plus one. When triggered, you will dodge the first attack against you. Last three rounds. Interesting. She wants a bone lacing. Plastic. Aries dermal plating, basic. Silver tech cyber arm, basic. I'm actually, I'm gonna save my money to make sure I have enough to hire people for the for the next run. All this flesh still clinging to my body disgusts me, but <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll get over it. Plus, whenever I stop moving, it's like I'm I'm crouched. Is it? What is he? I, is he air? Is he air typing? What is? What, what am I doing there? I have no idea. Well, let's talk to Mr. Delilah. 
who still looks exactly like the guy who owns my neighborhood bar. <laughs> I mean, it's, I'm not joking. It's kind of spooky. Right down, even that cigar. <laughs> I told you, he looks like the Honky Tonk Man to me. Well, if you're looking for runners, I'm your <laughs> guy. Discreet service only. Need to hire a crew. Let's see. Who do you bring along to blast into a mental hospital? Uh, oh! Oh, Shannon Half's, Shannon Half's guy is available for free. Who? Remember the, oh, uh, the sister? Oh, guy. Yeah. Yeah, who helped us out? Alrighty. Someone, there's a physical enemy, Malik the Mauler. <laughs> his, his quote is, The meat is weak. The body is strong as long as the will is there to bolster it. He's got a katana. Uh, oh, there you go. Let's see. Iron Liz, Elf Samurai. Well, literally, she's got a katana. Jesse Blue, <laughs> Troll Samurai. Too bad Coyote doesn't seem to be available. Yeah. Orc Shaman. I've got a Shaman. I, I, I could use a Mage. Blindness. Weaken armor. Flamethrower 2. <laughs> I want to take... I don't want to bring the same runners. Aside from Shannon. I don't want to bring the same runners just because, you know, variety. Yeah. Let's bring this Halen Mar. Hmm. She a mage? Yeah. Let's see. And let's see. We've got a. Sh I've got some limited decking skills, but not great. We could maybe bring a decker, or you know, bring more firepower. More firepower might be good because between these three, like I've got my drones and they've got magic and stuff, but we don't really have that many guns. I mean, I've got my rifle, but I have limited ability, somewhat limited ability to use it. Hmm. Let's bring some firepower in. <laughs> Someone has the name Grim Peeper. <laughs> That's cool. Right. And he's got an axe. I like this guy. Grim Peeper. Okay. Oh, right, this guy's a deck. Uh, see, this guy's a, uh, a a decker, but he's got a respectable gun as well. Maybe I'll go with him. He's got respectable combat, strange combat skills. Let's just swing over. Let's check the ne nephilim again. Let's see. Hey, most of these deckers for hire actually aren't better than me deck decking. Hmm. This guy is. Absolutely. <laughs> hmm. 
You have a recommendation, Nick? I like the Decker with the big gun. Alrighty. Hypotenuse. Yeah. yeah, he's got decking four, which is better uh, than me. He's got decent quickness and ranged combat. Submachine gun. Ooh, smart gun. Which is smart gun? It's like it can like link into your, you know, like your, you know, the data jack I use to. Uh, yeah. You can smart gun is like you can link it to that, and it basically puts like sights like in your vision. That's cool. It's like it's like it tur it turns the real world into like a first person shooter. <laughs> with with sights and whatnot. Okay. Okay. We are ready to roll. Twenty nine hundred million to bring everybody. But done. Shall, shall we head to Mercy Mental Hospital to confront Dr. Holmes? Well, let's play kind of has to stop otherwise. So. Okay. Mercy Mental Hospital. The blood you found at the warehouse belongs to a man masquerading as one Dr. Holmes. And you've tracked him to Mercy Mental Hospital. Located in the notoriously anti metahuman farmlands of Snohomish. The drive to the hospital is long and unpleasant. Finally, you reach the walled and gated hospital compound. <clears throat> Despite the pretense of security, the gate is unguarded, unlocked, and open. No one stops or greets you as you drive up to the large, crumbling building. Gothic ramparts top a damaged roof, cracked walls, and broken windows. All around the building is a lawn gone wild. Only the artificial light from within speaks of inhabitants. You walk up to the hospital steps to confront Sam Watts' killer and bring an end to the Emerald City Ripper. All right. Let's see. Okay. It's really not much point to me carrying grenades since I don't have enough AP to use them unless I turn off my robot. We still got to think of a name for him, by the way. Ooh. I was going to go with something simple like R2-D2, but that seems kind of lame. Oh, oh, you have Karma available. Okay, yeah, let's go. Let's have a look. We have six yeah. Karma. Are we approaching the end? No, 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 we're not. We've got a ways to go yet. Yeah, I'm not sure why it asked me then specifically. I'm... But... Let's boost drone combat. Maybe. Drone dodge. Let's see. Maybe. Yeah, drone control. Okay, let's add one to this. My drones have plus one dodge. Thanks for that. Speaking of dodge, there. Nice. Here we are. We're not a group of heavily armed mercenaries or anything, just. Talk to the receptionist. Welcome, sir. What brings you to Mercy Mental Hospital? I'm here to see Holmes, Dr. Holmes. I'm here to visit a patient, or I'm investigating a murder. I'd say I'm here I'm to, to see Dr. Ripple H. Yeah. Ah, a new customer. Please wait in the common room ahead. I'll notify the good doctor. The common room behind the bars. Please stay within the cafeteria. It's a high security place. Something over here. It's an automated medication dispensary. It doesn't recognize you, so nothing happens. So there's Lorraine and Donnie. There's something over here. The clock stopped, probably displaying a time from 40 years ago. 